Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Top Ukuleles, named for me, Danny Top. What I would like to do with this YouTube channel is to expand my knowledge of making and fixing ukuleles. I have a little bit of a history with this and I've enjoyed the projects that I've taken on and I would like to take it a little further. As a history, let me show you some of the stuff I've done up so far. This is a little concertina ukulele that I found in a garage sale. The seams had split. There were still strings on it. It looked pretty rough. Somebody had put a label maker tag on the back and it was all marred. Anyway, I was able to um, clean it up, clean up the, you know, the seams and re-glue it and put strings on it. And it plays very nicely. Next, when COVID hit and we were all in lockdown, I had a kit that my wife got me for Christmas, for the Christmas of 2019. So that was from Stumac, and I can put the link in the description below. And this is that ukulele, and this is the main ukulele that I play right now. So this was all made from a kit, and it came, the wood was pre-bent, the shape of the soundboard and the back were already taken care of. Everything was done except for assembly, putting in the frets. And it was a very interesting um, project and I really enjoyed it. So it sounds pretty good for something that I made here in my garage. And since it was beginning, beginning of the COVID lockdown, I had to use whatever I could find in my garage. I have a, a fairly well stocked corner of my garage and I had enough tools and finishes and other stuff to make this guy right here. So the next project that I took on was a friend of mine who said uh, she had a, a balalaika, a Russian three-stringed instrument that looks something like this. So she's finding all these things in you know her house that she just doesn't do anything with. This one was kind of in rough shape, you know, the, you know, the hardware for the tuners was rusted and looked really rough. You know, the fingerboard, you know, looked, you know, yeah, like it had been neglected. The strings were off, the, the bridge was just kind of dangling. And also there was a, a split in the side right here where it's been filled in. I wasn't able to completely get the the color match, but this now, this balalaika has now been restored and it sounds pretty good. So anyway, that's the small amount of experience I have right now with making and restoring um, instruments, mostly ukuleles. The balalaika was a one-time thing. So what I'd like to do here with my first project with this YouTube channel is to restore this ukulele that I got when I put a note out on um, Craigslist looking for ukuleles that I could restore. So this was given to me by uh, a friend. Her name is Mary, and she was a letter carrier, and she said about 10 years ago she found this on her route. It's an Aloha ukulele in Oscar Schmidt by Washburn, which is like a lot more information. But there is a, you know, a tag on the inside. And um, I looked it up. And this may be, I don't know, 10 years old, to 20 years old, obviously 10 years old, because she said she found it about 10 years ago. So the plan here is there's not a whole lot I can do you can't put new wood on here. So is to remove the old back soundboard and sides, use those pieces of wood to make a drawing of what the replacement pieces will look like, and then start making replacements and rebuild the sound box and restore this ukulele. So let's get started. I think this will be a lot of fun. So to start out, we're going to take apart 
the ukulele with heat. So I have here a heat gun and we will heat it up and slowly try to pry it apart. I want to keep as many pieces intact because these pieces, what I'm going to use to make a pattern so we can recreate uh, a new soundboard, backboard, and sides.
So now we've taken apart the ukulele and we've been able to work out the dimensions of the pieces and put together a set of plans so that we could reconstruct the body. I have the plans here and you can see them in the, the overlays that I'm putting on screen. But one of the first things I needed to do was essentially make a silhouette of the body. So th the first step was to make a cutout by getting the dimensions off the backboard and the soundboard. First of all, to make sure they were all the same size, because sometimes there is a difference in sizes between the back and the front. And also, it needed to be symmetrical. And that way, I could recreate the missing piece here and here. There's more to the soundboard that I could work with. But also, I have yet to take off the braces and sound bars, so that made it a little difficult to make all my measurements. But I was able to do that. So with this, I have a common pattern that I can use for making my new set of drawings. And also, when I make the jig that I will hold the ukulele parts in while I assemble it. Now that we have this done, on our drawing, we have the actual shape of the sides of the ukulele, and what we need to do is to form those sides. So I will use a um, heat method where I will soak the pieces of wood in water, and then once I get this black pipe mounted to um, a stand, I will heat it, and then using the hot pipe, I will bend the wood to match the design that I have in the drawings. So the first thing we need to do is to mount this to a suitable um, stand so we can both heat it and we can work with the wood with it. And here we have the new wood that I ordered online. And I have details about that in the video description. So these are our new sides, and these will be the top and bottom. They're a match set, so that's why they're connected. And the color is a little lighter than the original ukulele, but I think once we put a finish on it, it will darken up a little bit. I don't want to go much darker. I'd like to keep this as natural as possible. So we now have to measure out the right width for these side pieces, cut them, and then start the soaking process so we can start bending the wood. Now we come to the last thing we're going to do for this episode. We're going to bend the side pieces to the shape that matches what we got off the original ukulele. So I'm going to use hot pipe bending using this hot pipe and heat it up using a heat gun so that 
water will sizzle off of it so then you know it's hot enough. So the side pieces have been cut just to width and they've been soaking overnight in water. So we won't be burning the wood, but between the water in the wood and the heat, it will loosen up the fibers. We can bend it and it will stay where it is. Let's give this a try. has been formed. I actually put it in a clamp to hold it compressed but I can pull this out to the actual shape and do some fine tuning and I'll do that with a form. 
that I'll make next time. But for now, that is as much as we're going to do with this first video. And we are well on our way to restoring that ukulele that was found 10 years ago on the side of the road in Hawaii. So um, I think this is a good start to the, to the restoration. And we'll start next time with a new form and then um, gluing together the tops, the top and the back pieces.